Hey everyone, uh, this is our next ambassador challenge. Uh, I have here with me Ali, who was a recent member of Six, but now at 9.45, uh, you might have had a chance to meet her. Uh, we're actually gonna be hearing a story about how Ali was an ambassador for Christ, um, where she lives. I know that at the moment we're focusing on being ambassadors for Christ where we work, um, but this story is really great and so we wanted to share it with you. Um, Ali, I know you've been meeting up with one of your neighbors for a little while now. Um, tell us kind of how that relationship started off. Sure. Um, well, my friend, my neighbor, I met her, we were both um, heavily pregnant in a um, like prenatal class and then she looks over at me and I look over at her. I didn't have my glasses on, but I was pretty sure. I'm like, are you my neighbor? And she was like, yes, I'm your neighbor. And so then we just kind of went, that's crazy. We're both, when are you due? And like, we're both due within like a couple of days. And that's crazy. Yeah, having babies at the same hospital. Wow. So we share a lot, like, cause um, go through a lot of clothes or, you know, baby stuff or food or, you yeah. know, we're constantly just like, do you need some bolognese? I made some extra or yeah, or clothes or whatever it is. Yeah, nice. So you can, you can help each other out. Um, but also you've had a bit of a chance to get to know her and she's had a bit of a chance to get to know you. Yeah. How has that happened? So like they live directly in the apartment below us. So the good thing about that is your baby monitor stretches that far. And um, so like quite often, particularly um, in the earlier months when you have like a lot of time but no time, we would both like text each other and be like, are they asleep? Yes, quick, like calm down for a cup of tea. And then we'd have a cup of tea and then the baby monitor would go off and then we'd just go back. And so it was like lots of short kind of chances mm. and connections. Or we both put the babies down on the mat and she would cook her dinner and I would play with them. And yeah. yeah. How have you been able to, um, I guess, share your faith in Christ? How, how has that come up? I feel like God has given us um, someone that is really open to spirituality and has a lot of questions so I just kind of try to be ready with an answer yeah. for her um, and then also because of COVID like her family's all overseas yeah. so um, um, she has a desire for community and connection that mother's group can bring. One thing I was thinking about was um, how you kind of said like Like she would just ask you questions. So what what kind of questions? How do you, yeah, what, what's the conversation there? Kind of, um, usually about suffering and like why I think things happen. And um, often also like how to respond or how I would respond to adversity or difficulty I really don't think that I do anything more as an ambassador than just like inviting people to dynamites when that opportunity kind of sinks in and also just I don't know sharing my own faith like I think I look at like martyrs for the gospel and I think that we, I could do so much more yeah. but like I guess it's encouraging to just be faithful to the situation and season that God puts us in. Totally. And I also feel as if, um, like, evangelism can seem like a really big thing when we look at the martyrs and the big heroes of the faith. Um, but I think, like, evangelism can just be an everyday thing in the little conversations we have. and. And just being genuine with people about who we are and the hope that we have. Um, yeah, because the gospel is good news. And so hopefully that's shaping our lives and it's going to shape their lives as well um, as they see us live it out. 